What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Jump. Guys, I already want to talk um, about being stalked, okay? Because it happened to black men. It has happened to my ugly ass, okay? All right? And the thing about it is, is that when men get in a relationship and they make a mistake, you know, they're supposed to just leave. Women find that hard to do, okay? And especially if they make a mistake, they think you pose this accepted. Don't believe me? Here is Mr. Norman Towns, okay? Now, Norman Towns is known for having some parts in Insecure and The Affair. And what's going on is he's dealing with a struggle model, okay? Struggle IG model by the name of Shanice Jordan, all right? Now, Shanice Jordan is a struggle dental hygienist. She, she look good though, I'm not gonna lie, she's beautiful, but she's struggling out here weaving a salmon. Beautiful little lady. And, you know, it, he broke up with her because he saw some messages, right? Like, the girl said that she slept with him one night, slept with someone else the next night, and was planning to sleep with an NFL player the night after that. So, she gets around, okay? And after he saw that, and again, this is different with men who got options. This is not that, you know, BS where, you know, crying and stuff and why you cheating on me. No, he let her go. He did what he's supposed to do, all right? She isn't taking the breakup well, okay? He told her, leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. He blocked on all the socials. He changed his phone number. What is she doing? She's sending explicit pics to companies he's working with, probably his pictures, She's sleeping outside his house, making fake accounts in his name, sending food to his door, and constantly emailing him every day. Right? That said the tip of the iceberg. He's also, you know, has evidence. He's asking and pleading for help. Filing not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, but seven police reports and a restraining order, but was denied. He showed videos of how many numbers and emails that she's made up. Still denied. Okay? But I want you to read this post with me, guys, of what he's talking about. Like, this is how insane. Like, look at these numbers she's calling from. Here on the page, you see it? The first one. All these different numbers. This is how, how struggled up and shady she is, okay? We'll play it in the background. All right, here on Vimeo. You see it, right? Look at all this dusty stuff she's doing. And as that's playing in the background, let me read this statement he made. Day music! I was dating a woman named Shanice, Miss Shanice Jordan, and I broke it off for reasons I'll keep private. I don't respect for her. Stop the show. You already know she's out there thotting it up. Day music! But it just didn't work out. Stop the show. Sleep with everybody, including me. Unfortunately, she hasn't taken our break well, and she has been harassing me to the point I don't know what to do. I blocked her on all socials and I changed my number. She has sent explicit pictures of us to people and companies I'm working with. Stop the show. Stop the show. The pictures. The girls is crazy. Sleeping outside my house, making fake accounts in my name, applying for random jobs as me. Okay, that's crazy. How are you applying to jobs to people? Sending food to my door constantly, and I fill up my emails with messages every day. If any of my followers have been through something similar with a man or woman and have helpful advice, I would love some help. The police haven't been as helpful. He even put our account up, screenshot it. This date music or sad music. This is who is harassing me and others. I have pressed full charges against her till it all works out, but I'll share the story here. Okay? See, you, you see how what happens when black men go through things? That nobody cares about them, right? But if it was her doing it, it'll all be cool. Okay? It's totally okay for women to harass men. Totally okay. Totally okay. All right? And I just want to say something. You see how uneven society is? Do you see it? Do you see it? The man is still trying to be cordial to the woman. 
But the, the reality is this. Here's another situation that she did it to herself. Okay? Maybe if you wasn't sleeping with everybody, cheating on your man, planning on cheating with somebody else, he wouldn't have dumped you. But he's the problem. See, this just goes to show you that they expect that black men should just deal with stuff. No, you made a mistake, you're done. Because get, let me tell you one thing. When it's a black man's mistake, they oh, you're done. Oh, you cheated on me? Oh, you're out. What they friends tell you, out. And if he stalks you and stuff, girl, call the police. And what do the police come? The police come and make sure that your big ass don't do nothing to her. Isn't that right? Ain't that what the police do? Hmm? But they don't do that here. They don't do that here. Because, see, she could even do something to him. They don't care. Because as long as it's a black man that's getting fucked up, that's all it matters. It don't matter no more. That's all that matters. That's the situation. Okay. And how many other black men go through this? When it's not his fault. He didn't mess up. She messed up. Why are you standing outside this man's house? Okay. And again, black men are not supposed to have standards, guy. How dare you stand up for yourself? How dare you want to be treated in a relationship with some respect? See, a lot of ladies want to be treated with some respect in a relationship. They don't want you to be out here cheating while they get to cheat. Is that right? They don't want to cook and clean, some of them, while you go to work every day and provide. Is that right? You, you, you see where we're going? It's duplicit. It's a one-way street. And this is why I sell out of guys. See, and if this guy ended up dealing with somebody that was white, y'all would say he's a sellout. I know you would. If this dude ended up dealing with a woman that's white, y'all would say he's a sellout. He's a buffoon. How could he, how could he deal with any other woman that's not black? I can hear it already. I can hear it already. But guess what? His life is just as important. His safety is just as important as anybody else's life. He's a citizen, okay? He should be protected. His rights are just as protected as anybody else. That's the facts. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, Old Shane Duke Jackster. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first one to the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high.